We're business guys right now. We are putting ourselves, yeah. adjusting the same We're stuff so we can capture the moments that our patrons so are going to be in. They're not going to be working. They're going to be getting off work. They're going to be uh, getting uh, rowdy. They're going to have crazy eight. conversations. Well, it's going to be nothing yeah. holding them back. It's going to be a great yeah, time for them to themselves. experience yeah. the buzz <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> the vacation <laughs> of well, then, the situation. And number three, yeah, then. <laughs> and don't worry. Cause this is our first uh, kind of like a brewery tour yeah. and we're doing this with like all of our <laughs> yes, you just guys get... haven't met our brewmaster Jason yet. This is Jason. Jason. Hey, how's it going? I'm Johnny. Right on, Cameron's. right on. I'll shake your hand under there. Welcome to Cameron. Hey man. Once again, welcome, welcome. You're in good hands here with Kurt. All right, nice. He's yeah. yeah. And right. we're in good hands with your product. Make sure you uh, try all the beers. What do you well, that's the plan. We're just gonna try them all. We want to get the best craft beer possible in the whiskey house. When we're making our moonshine cocktails, we want to get the best ingredients possible. If that means we got to grab the seed, plant them, grow the flowers, put it into a simple syrup, and make some uh, unique cocktails. Really Wait, quick, just, just real quick. Reiterate. Start, just start to finish uh, th this process right here to make this. Grain to glass. Okay. Grain to grain to, to uh, a can actually is I like what I'm looking for. Glass. It's got a but no, to it. I like grain like glass is nicer. Glass, you know. But you know glass what? Hey, if it sits in, if, if it's if no, but if it sits in like a storage room for like a couple weeks, then I'm, I'm just trying to figure like out uh, how long does it actually take right. to make the beer to put it in this so uh, can right here. So like we I have said. the grain here. We're about to brew like yep. today. Yeah. We're putting in the effort to make sure that what we actually uh, supply or give to the customer is gonna be something uh, special. We're yeah. gonna go and try to find the best tasting alcohol that we can, the best cocktails that we can, and uh, provide the best time that we can. And we will mash it, so we'll add grain and water together. We'll, the enzymes in the grain, we'll turn the starches in the grain into sugars. That'll take about half an hour to an hour. We'll pull it off into the kettle. That'll take about, we want to do it slowly. Pull we'll off, take, pull off what? Then? We'll remove the liquid, liquid, the liquid from yeah. the grain. We don't want any grain in the kettle. Right. We just want the water mixture that we put in there. Right. We'll pull that off into the kettle, boil it for about an hour, an hour and a half, adding hops or any other ingredients we want to add at that time. Then we'll cool it, add it to the tank. So in total, the, the brewing process takes about seven hours. Then we'll add it to one of these tanks and add yeast. The yeast will ferment, so eat the sugars turning into CO2 and alcohol between one week and two weeks. Right. And then we'll crash or put cooling on the tank. So we'll chill the outside of the tank, which will force the yeast to go dormant and fall to the bottom. Stop and, eating the sugar. Yes, sugar. exactly. And then we'll let it age, so cold age, for between another week or two weeks. So that can be for an ale, we'll ferment from grain to glass two weeks, for a lager four weeks. I, I think it's, uh, it would be an, an interesting thing when you're giving somebody a beer to tell them, it took four weeks to make this and then uh, we, it was shipped here within the week. Yeah. Here you go. This is like a five weeks uh, in the making. Yeah. And, it's, and it's not pasteurized.